Hey guys, welcome back to Black Life Singles. Oh wow, I have missed you guys and I hope that you guys have been having an opportunity to take a little bit of downtime as much as I have to just refresh and you know get our mind back together and ready for whatever this next phase is. Y'all, we have been going through some wonderful, wonderful sessions as it relates to singles let's talk and let's get this thing together on one core. But hey, I'm getting ready to bring to you another segment of our singles let's talk and it's called manifesting your dreams. Listen, when it comes down to manifesting dreams, even in dating, there is a process to all of these things. I do believe that everything that God has planned for our lives, he's right on time with it. We are just the ones that need to get in that space that we need to be in so that, hey, we can see these things manifest. Listen, it's the minor details that must be taken into account along with your daily prayers and meditation to fulfilling God's promises over your lives as well as your future mate. Listen, you do have to start praying for them as well. If that's what you are looking for, if that's what you're believing for, you have to proactively do these things, not waiting until someone comes or, you know, well, I don't, I don't know for sure if this is something I want. You got to make up your mind in order to manifest this thing, even to start needing people to come into your life. You got to get that energy. You got to get that synergy into that space. So listen, I just want to come in, listen, make sure that your intentions are well, making sure that you got the right train of, of mind. You know, sometimes you just need to drop off some old things from your life, some experiences. Listen, it's a lesson learned. You've gone through enough in life. But you know, and I think I've made up my mind that I do want to manifest this thing. I want to manifest this dream of my, that mate that God has for my life coming in. When I tell you coming in in a way that I've never ever seen in my life. So if you are having trouble, this is probably one of the first things that I thought about. If you're having trouble, first of all, jump-starting conversations in the early stages of dating, because that early conversation does matter, you are teaching people how to treat you. You are teaching people what you are made of. And if you're having trouble with those early conversations, listen, this is going to be one of those times when you come in to kind of, you know, hear maybe some of the testimonies or what are some of the stories of, you know, how people are reading what it is you're saying, how they're reading your body language, how they're reading your silence in the midst of things. And there is a synergy that's, that's coming off all of us, whether we believe it or not. But those are the things that we want to come in and pay attention to. So if you're having trouble, maybe jumpstarting the conversation, making sure that conversation is going in the right direction. I need you guys to come on in and be a part of this. Listen, there is a true intention when it comes to dating, that all of us must have for children of God in order to manifest what God is playing for our life. You sure, you can go out there and, you know, hey, you're attractive, you're charismatic, you got some things going for yourself. Even sometimes the worst of what we think can be dressed up to look like the best of things. But if you are intentionally in that space, you've made up your mind, you're sick and tired of the okie doke and you want to come in and get this thing right, I want to see you every Thursday night. Thursday night is 7.30 p.m. Let me come in and help you jumpstart those conversations so that we can get them moving in the right direction. I got four different conversation topics we're going to be in. We're going to start on August the 5th. First of all, we're going to talk about those conversation starters. What are some of the things that we need to discuss? What are things that we need to keep out of the conversation at the very beginning of it? Because remember, you are taking, you are collecting data at the beginning of it all. Don't miss a step in the midst of it. Second week, we're going to come in. How do we keep the relationship exciting? Now that you've gotten what it is that you were looking for or you know how it is, it feels good. It feels like, you know, this may be the one. What is the excitement that needs to be kept in there? I always say the way you got them, you got to keep it that way too. You can't come in with a superficial thing or you can't come in with your, with your representative and then change later on. You got to keep the excitement going. And then also, if that person has, you know, an energy that's being created, that's causing the world to change or even causing you to look at life differently, you got to make sure sure that they're able to keep that energy going because they're connecting to your energy as well. So you don't want to do anything to throw that off. Next thing is you're going to stay true to who you are. I think that's the key. That's week three. Stay true to who you are. Do not bring a counterfeit in. You know how it is sometimes we see 
We th this is something that I've learned. You see a bigger game, and sometimes you're bu you're busy trying to get to the game, and you're not working the process. You got to get in there and work the process. Stay true to who you are. Be honest about who you are. You know, um, I think that's a love factor that needs to go in. Stay true at all times who you are. And then the last one, last one we're gonna do, it's got to be a win-win situation. You're not, you cannot come into settling. It's got to be a win-win for you and for them. That's where friendship is made from, that you want the best for everyone, not just for yourself. Well, I'm gonna get what I can get out of it. No, that's not a servant's heart. And if you're doing anything as a child of God outside of a, of a servant's position, it's bound to not work for you. So it's got to be a win-win situation. Y'all look, I want to talk to you about these, to these topics so bad, but I need you to be there to do it. So come on in, grab your family, grab your friends, join us every Thursday night, 7.30 p.m. Y'all, this will be the final finale of the Singles Let's Talk on this particular platform. Y'all, when we get through with this, we're moving over to Clubhouse. We're getting ready to go into what we call relational real talk over there. Oh my God, it's called the Relational Lounge. And I want to invite you guys to be there with us as well. We'll be starting the Clubhouse over in September. And I can't wait for you guys to join in with us. We don't know the, the time and date just yet, but we do know that we will be moving over there. So I want you to come in and join us for these last segments here. I've got a lot of guests that's going to be joining with me on that other side. But while we're, you know, getting these final details, let's come on in and wrap this up. Let's get our minds in a, in a great place because there are going to be some things that's dropped on you guys over there that I think there was some some pre, you know, there got to be some um, um, some sages that are set before we get there to get your heart ready. And you got to make up your mind that this is something that you want as well. I think it's time out for us to, um, you know, not be doing things with intention to it. We, we realize we're living in a world, everything is subject to change. You want to make sure that everything that you do is aligning up with Christ. I want to see you there every Thursday night, 7.30 p.m. So until the end, you guys be blessed. And I'm looking forward to joining you once again. August the 5th, get it on your calendar, August the 5th. Go ahead and click that, you know, select the dates that you want, join it with us. And we'll be getting all of the information out to you to join the Zoom. Uh, again, it will be on Zoom once again, Central Standard Time. We'll be getting all that information out to you for you to log in, all of that. Be on time. We do things, we start on time, 7.30 p.m. And we'll be here to, you know, roughly 9.30 at night. So for those of you that may be joining in and from a different time zone and may say that, oh, I can't stay up that late or whatever, everything will be recorded if you are on our mailing list and we'll get that out to you so that you can go back and listen to it again. Most of the time it'll be sent out to you the next morning. Hey, go back in and listen to it again, digest it, get it down on the inside and then go check with God. The things that are being shared, I hope and pray that it's lining up in your spirit. And if it is, trust the process of what God is doing. I guarantee he's going to bring it about to a great resolve on the other side. I'll see you guys on Thursday night, August the 5th, 7.30 p.m. In Jesus' name. Amen. Mm -hmm.